Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to our leveling in, I don't know, Warcraft, Warcraft leveling. How do I name this actually? I don't remember. Well, Warcraft it is. So, we are in Sholazar Basin, level 76, Windwalker Dwarf Monk. And right now we're trying to find some tracks. There we go. Shango tracks. Good stuff. Let's find three. Three of them, and then... Then I guess we'll go pick up some more bananas because we have a bunch of quests here. I just did my daily and that brought us to like almost 90%. So this shall be done pretty damn soon. We'll probably stay in here to level 78. Depends, I guess, how the quest flow goes. Uh, I do at least, at least I want to do one level in Ice Crown and one level in Storm Peaks. Probably, well, we'll go to Storm Peaks first and then Ice Crown before hitting level 80. And at that point, well, Cataclysm awaits. Am I right? Come on, just give me those last tracks. I don't really want to kill this Dread Saber, but if I have to, I shall do so! Come on. Come on, game! We're friends, aren't we? I've been playing you way too much in the past, I don't know how many years. So we should be friendly to each other. You should love me very much. The love should be mutual. And since I do love you, you should love me as well. Come on, just, just give me one more track. I'm gonna be, gonna be fine. Good, there you go. See? All you have to do is just say please. Now let's go kill crocolisks, cobras and get one more banana. And then we shall be fine. Also I should probably sell some of this junk. What kind of stuff do we have here? Yeah, I do think I have one bit crappy ring. It's probably from like Hellfire Peninsula or something. Hey cobra. Let's see. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. Don't you dare poison me. Give me that. Last banana. Last cobra fang. Alrighty. Let's focus on the crocolisks then. Hey, sir crocolisk. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm trying to sell some... Kickers. Kickers? Really? Kicks in the head, I guess. Head kicks? Kikoheros? Seven more crocolisks. Alright. And how many game animals do we actually have to kill? 60. Hmm. Come on, you. Let us join together in love and harmony. And of course, some fist bumps. He got to 48. I got to 50. Oh, I'm getting ahead of him. We are gonna win this. You guys shall see that. We shall be the winners. The victors? The winners? Whatever you wanna say, we shall be it. I'm your guy, no matter what. And I shall prove that by killing many, many crocodiles, even though they stand behind me. Uh, sir, you, I don't, I don't need to kill you, so please go, go away. Maybe I don't need to kill you, just to get the last animals. Hmm. Less manimals? Okay, I guess I'll just touch you with my deadly fingers. So I'm thinking, if this is a uh, like touch of death, probably my dwarf stuck his, I don't know, probably one finger or something in his butt. Yes, that's what I'm saying, in his butt. And, you know, got all smelly and stuff, and after that, he just touches one of the cobras here and he dies from my poisonous ass stuff 57 okay he's at 54 three more and we shall be happy happily done maybe I'll cut some more of these animals with my ass fingers maybe well in 40 seconds I guess okay just one more one more death shall be enough to satisfy to satisfy the gods of deathliness. I don't know what kind of gods. 
Gods of hunters, I guess. Hunter gods? Who would be a hunter god? There's been probably a lot in the past. Is there still some kind of hunter gods? I don't know. I should probably know that. My father is a hunter. I should probably know that. As a young kid, I used to go with him on, you know, hunts. Um, shooting wild boars or some some kind of other animals. Wild boars was the most fun for me, I guess. It was rarely we got anything, you know, it's... The, the animals are elusive. But still, it was something, you know, it's, it was fun to be outside in the nature. Okay, so you have that, and that didn't bring me up. Come on. You want me to use your incense, huh? That shall be somewhere around here, and these big dudes shall tell me something. Shall do so. Okay, let's do it. Here's my incense. Uh, I guess I'll do this. And now you're gonna talk to me. Can I kill you while we wait so I can hit level 77? Thank you! You shall aid me. We are seeking Shardhorn Patriarch Faroon! Alrighty. He holds himself aloof from his brothers. That is never a good thing to do. I mean, if if movies and stuff like that, basically moving pictures, taught us something, is that bad guys and people who held themselves aloof usually end up, you know, either being dead or, you know, in some way disposed of, or eventually they came to the right sense and became you know, more friendly, more... You know, outgoing, liking people, stuff like that. How are you? Yes, okay, now we have to brew that thingy. We shall. Speak, friend. I shall speak, friend, yes. Strength. Very much strength. Okay, so, what do we have? We have oranges here, bananas here, papayas here, this is brazier, and there's pressure wall. Okay, let's start this. Tipsy McManus. In five seconds, what do you want me to do first? Add bananas. Boom. Nicely handled. Stay on your toes. I shall stay on my toes, sir. Sir Tipsy McManus. We shall do so. Add bananas. We already added bananas. Never know what it will need next. Probably some papayas or maybe oranges. You know, eventually we need to add that. But I guess I can light the brazier as well. I guess it has to be warm. For actually, to start working properly. Can I access the pressure wall while he speaks? Maybe. Let's add oranges. Well, I guess I can. What shall be next? Come on, sir. Dipsy. Okay, more heat. Still haven't added papayas yet. We need to do so. What else? What else? Okay, pressure is too high. That is easily solved. Mr. Mr. Tipsy McManus. I like Mr. Tipsy. Mr. Tipsy is a good guy. And another orange, sure. Come on, what about papas? Hopefully it's scripted that you actually add everything. It would be weird if you were if you're Carrying all of this back and then never add one of the fruits. Or I guess you can say he probably added some of them at the start. And I'm just adding additional ones. Now, oh, like the brazier. Sure. Well, then also, I just want to add some papas, man, dude. Come on. Let me do it. Okay, there's no papas in here. Well, screw you then. No pass. Okay, you want me to offer some samples to people. I shall do so. Well met, sir. Um, this is less agility, more stamina. Uh, that's not something I desire. Thank you. Yeah, I beat you. Okay, you want some sand firm. Goody, goody. I think I need to offer you... 
this. Yeah, you're one of the guys. You can have that. You need something. Okay, you want me to kill Shango? Good. Did you try it? Just go try it, bro. Uh, good. You just tested. What can I do for you? Now you, Froon's whore. Okay, uh, sir, you go ta taste this as well. I, I'll try it. I can't do dwarf. Dwarves are hard for me. Very, very hot. Okay, good. Uh, there's a new quest right over here. Good day to you. Good day to you too. See you later. Okay, that's fine. And now let's go, uh, Shango. Actually, let's do. Let's grab some sand ferns first. Then we can do a circle around here. And go Shango, Faroon, and there's going to be another. Thing you will have to kill. It's gonna be one of the big, uh, one of the big alligators. Do the alligator shuffle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alligator shuffle. Let's do the alligator shuffle. We're gonna do some alligator shuffles, boys, boys and girls. It is in our future. So ah, uh, let's see, ferns, ferns, ferns. Need some ferns. So you guys, anyone watching uh, the current European Football Cup? You should, you should be. There's been some quite good games already. Of course, my nation is not represented because they're scrubs. They're not playing well at the moment, but still, I'm gonna still watch it. I do enjoy football. I mean, I've played it my whole life. For many, many years. Not that I'm old, but still. I spent most of my life playing. For, well, I played the, you know, the big football, the football on the big pitch, where it's 11 versus 11 players. I played that for probably 12 years. I think 12 years. Most of the time for one club and one year for a different one. one wishes for Those were good memories. And of course, I still play with friends, you know, five on five and stuff like that. Okay, Bushwalker. We shall, we shall do, we should do so. So where should I go? This way or that way? Let's go to Shango first, because reasons. Let's get Shango's belt. Oh, there's a, there's another quest. Almost missed that one. What is this one? Uh, Hammer? What do you want? On your mind? Oh, just to go to Lake Sand Landing, sure. We'll do so. It is on our way anyway, so. We shall do so. So, yeah. If you guys are watching, who do you think will win in the end? Uh, currently, for me, I think it could be Germans. They have quite a solid team. I haven't seen them play yet. Tonight they have a first game against Ukraine. Well, tonight as of my recording, when you guys are going to watch this, it's already going to be like a week past, something like that. But I still think it could be it could be Germans. They have a very solid team. Uh, before last, um, before um, in the last World Cup, I did say the Germans are going to win. And they did. They did eventually win. Of course, uh, I always have a bet with my parents and brother. We always do the bet like before any of the major competitions, who will actually win. And uh, that last time, of course, I managed to win. My mother said Argentina, and they were in the finals. My father went for Brazil, uh, I guess because they were the hosts. And my brother, as always, went for Italy, because he's a major fan of Italy, and he's always, always gonna say Italy. As he did this year, and I don't think Italy actually has a good team this time. Of course, they are very good at any of these uh, competitions, you know, so... It could work well for them. They do know how to play on competitions, even though they don't have the best teams, usually. 
or always, you know. But they do know how to play. So, of course, it's always good. And me and my father actually agreed that Germans could do well and actually go till the end this time around. And uh, my mother said Spain. But I doubt that Spain will actually manage to win third time in a row. That would be too much. I, I do think their team is not as good anymore as they were, you know, in the previous rounds. They actually won. Where is the big guy here that we're trying to kill, huh? Someone else probably killed him. This guy looks like he's waiting for for him as well. Ah, no. Uh, I don't know who else could actually be. I mean, France, they're the hosts. They do have a solid team. They played well in the first, first game against Romania. Romania is actually pretty damn good. They actually played surprisingly well against them. So... Romania actually surprised me. And France, they did well. I, th I think they could go far, but I do not think they can go till the end. Uh, the one that actually surprised me yesterday was England against Russia. It was 1-1, but I did not expect England to play such a, um, a football that is easy to watch, I guess. But I do think it's because they have, they have the youngest team on the competition. And they have a lot of uh, very offensive, fast, young players. I don't think they will be able to go to, you know, very far. I mean, till the end. But that speaks in their, you know, favor, I'd say. Lady, I was supposed to go here. Yes, yes. What do you have for me? Pictures remains. We should do so. Go and... Uh, Oops, that was the wrong one. I wanted to say this one. Taste it! Sure. Taste it, lady. Taste it! We're gonna get Bushwalker and Bridge Keys, and then I think we'll go back. Okay. Let's go try and find some keys in here. Let's go here. Doesn't look like there's any animals around. Let's try to find us. And of course, there's an eel. I'm gonna be slithering around here. Ready? Can I actually roll underwater? Uh, it's not really effective. I guess you'll have to do. Uh, sir, eel, we are not looking for you. We are looking for some keys. So please, really don't don't need your assistance. Oh, there we go. I guess we can kill that thresher. Since he's here. He tried to assist me as well. Which is nice of him, I guess. But in the end, is it not his assistance we need? It's definitely not. Let's try to get that alligator as well. And well, the timer is slowly ticking. So we'll see. What can we do? Hey sir. Sir, sir Bushwhacker. I'm here to tell you all about my face kicks. You should hear about them. They're pretty nice. Uh, I guess we can cash this in. Do you want to go to grab Pit's remains? Pit's remains, maybe. Can I help you? Maybe. Okay, let's finish that. Yes, yes. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do, but I guess we are doing this. Okay, sure. It's fine. Adventure's Guide. You want me to go to Shulazar Basin? I'm already there. Uh, no, we're not doing Violet Hold. Sorry. I did say no to, to... To... To dungeons. We only did one dungeon so far. It was Zulfarak. I think it went well. So we're almost at 50%. I guess after we finish this... Um, this flight, it will be at 50. So I guess one more episode. Well, next episode we'll actually hit 78 and we'll... And then move towards Storm Peaks. At 79, we'll go to Ice Crown. Seems good enough. Let's try. Let's start shooting all the flying motherfuckers here. Yes, shoot them. Shoot them, Bill. Shoot them. Shoot them, Bill. I am quick with those rockets. You just be aware how you you know fly. 
How are you hit even? Shut up, timer. Let's try shooting. Now I have to fly this thing. Just continue flying. You have to shoot anyone? No. Yes, maybe. There's some more here. There's a dude. Can I shoot this Worgen Rogue? Worgen Freeman. Let's try shooting Worgen Freeman. I can't do Worgen Freeman voice. I'm kind of bad at that. Anyway, let's go fly this back. I guess I can fly and cash this in. That's fine. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Should I do it? Well, let's just land and we'll see. I mean, my timer has already sounded. I guess I, guess I can finish this. Thank you. And let's just fly there. Let's cash them in and then next episode we can go grab the pizza's remains and then probably do the quest some quest for the what are they called called world war i don't i don't remember i don't really remember the names of the factions of these guys in Swalazar basin there's two guys little murloc looking guys and little wolf looking guys but we'll do it at least a bit not too much, because, as I said, I do want to go to Storm Peaks. Eventually. 77 is not too bad. I'm quite happy. Quite happy how this went out. We are we are leveling fast, really. I think that after level... After you hit, like, level 75, leveling becomes fast again. But between between 60 and 75, it's the... It's... Oh. It just takes ages. Quests are horrible. It's no. ages, really. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, tunnel, belt... It's not really better. So just give me something that's worth a lot. Thank you. Sir. I don't need your shoulders. That's completely okay. Just give me this. Who else? Thank you for your kungaloosh. That will make me drunk. And you actually have a proper ring for me. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. Well, let us go and finish this episode here. So, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and I'll see more. Do your magic, and I'll see you next time. Coco out.